What's up, folks? Welcome back to Big Little Burst. I'm your host, Michael Nightwing, and today I have a surprise for you. Hasbro sent me this box, and this box contains Beyblade X stuff for their new release of products starting today, June 1st. Now, they sent me this stuff for free, which means that I get a chance to look at this early, which means there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out of me playing with these toys and show you guys all the intricate parts of these toys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look inside the box and see what we got. First of all, you got the drawn, you got the health scythe, the scythe, and you got this box. It's a big box. Let's crack it open. Beyblade X. Ooh, okay, so inside, I got a card with instructions and then a card about the new Transformers Beyblades. These things, I've already pre-ordered it. Should be awesome. Now, let's take a look and see what we got here. First things first, we have, oh, okay. Scythe Incendio. This one, all right here. It is a balanced scythe with Scythe Incendio 460 and the T, which I believe is typered, bit. The next one is gonna be Sword Drawn with 360 and F, and it's high type. Next one is going to be Arrow Wizard. This one right here is a stamina type, right spin, with 480 and B, which is ball. The next one is going to be, ooh, Helm Knight. This one's a defense type, right spin, and it comes with 380 and N for needle. After that one, we have Neil Shark. Neil Shark comes with 360 and LF, which is low flat. Ooh, and we also got the Winder Launcher, the Soar Phoenix, which comes with 960 and GF, which is gear flat. And the last thing in here, this. This right here is the, what do you call this thing anyway? The Extreme Battle Set. Oh, simple enough. It has Drag, Dagger Dran 460R and Tusk Mammoth 360T. Now, Tusk Mammoth is a Hasbro exclusive. As we all know, Hasbro exclusives are always amazing. And uh, Dagger Dran is Dran Dagger. I think it's very interesting how they're doing the names where it's backwards. So Dran Dagger, and you have, Oh, what is this? Sword Dran. And then Arrow Wizard. It also comes with the stadium, of course. And two of the small little proto launchers. Now for this one, the proto launchers are what you get. You get this in here, and you also get it inside of each one of these booster packs. But then you can also get the string launcher right here in the Sword Phoenix. Or you can purchase the like Super Winder launcher. Yeah, Super Wind Beyblade X Winder Launcher. You can get that one. And it has get your gears in motion. <laughs> get your gears in motion. That's cute. But yeah, let's unbox some of these and do a couple battles and get the party started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test Sword Dran. We're gonna compare it to the Takira Tomi, the Takira Tomi version with my scale. I'm gonna grab all the little bits and pieces out of my handy dandy bag here. We'll weigh it to see whether or not it actually equals the same weight. Because the biggest thing with this one, they have said numerous times, Hasbro is they, that this is identical to the die cast, the Kiritomi versions. So let's see if they were honest. Okay, so here I have the Takiratomi version, and then here is the Sword Dran. So let's crack this thing open real quick and see how it does. It feels legit and it has a QR code. Here you guys go. You can go ahead and scan these into the new game. All right, so it does come with the little winder launcher. So this is what you're gonna be using here for your Beyblade X if you just get the starter pack. You're gonna be Beyblading with the little winder. Now, the moment of truth, whether or not this thing is actually the same weight as the Takara Tomy counterpart. This right here is 50 grams, 50 grams, we're good to go. All right, so TT, full body, 43, 43 grams. Hasbro, 43.35, 43.35. So Hasbro's is heavier. 
than TT. So right now we know that the Hasbro version is heavier than the Takira Tomy version. That's a plus, baby. We're moving along in a good direction. So what we're gonna see right now is whether or not this thing can actually achieve like maximum velocity with the little ripper. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, there's still power. There's still a lot of power in that. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's power, that's power. That's not a problem. It's a small launcher, but it is mighty. Oh, oh, God. dang. All right, okay, okay. So not bad. The small launcher is definitely, um, at least for my hands, because it's a lot smaller than my hands. It takes a lot, and I have to be more conscious about how I rip the cord, just to make sure it doesn't like go flying out. I have to really, really squeeze it. You see all the veins? I gotta really give it a squeeze and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But you get enough rip, you're good to go. Let's see. Let's do one more here. It's TT. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, not bad, oh, not bad at all, okay. I can get down with that. All in all, I'm pretty excited for the way the weights work on these things. So seeing as the Hasbro one is not significantly heavier, but just a, like a little fractions of an ounce or gram heavier, that's very good because now, if you wanna play competitive in any tournament, you can just grab the TT or the Hasbro version and it will be the same deal. And that hasn't been the case in a long while, right? Because when burst, you had slopes versus teeth. Now, everything's exactly the same. And that, to me, is quite refreshing. And for parents, now it's gonna be easy for you. I don't know what the prices are gonna be on these Beyblades, but it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than the Japanese imports. So, that's gonna be a plus for you big time. I'm excited, I'm excited for this. I'm excited. But yeah, do me a solid favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and if you can, please go home and tell your dad you love him. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna be unboxing, ooh, this next. We gotta take a look at the stadium, because the size difference in these stadiums. So let's get to that.